Those of you who followed my channel in years gone by know that I haven't always been terribly impressed with the indie games that come out with a Games Workshop logo stamped on them. From 40k to Age of Sigmar, it feels like GW is just fine with about anyone making something out of their beloved franchises. So when I first tried out Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus, you could hardly blame me for being cynical. But let it never be said that I'm unwilling to admit when I'm wrong. Mechanicus is fun, well fleshed out, if you'll excuse the phrase, and as addictive as replacing your stupid, useless organs with kick-ass robot pieces. Oh, my organs! <laughs> Inferior human organs! Mechanicus has you leading the Imperium's most tech-savvy foot soldiers, the Mechanicum, through the recently awakened planet of the Necrons. The Necrons are an ancient race of malevolent robotic beings who have plans to control the universe in their shiny, metallic claws. Unfortunately for them, you and the Emperor of Mankind have dibs. And right off the bat, Mechanicus impressed me with just how much fun they were able to make the Mechanicum and the Necrons. No offense to any 40k players out there who love these armies, but I'm a Tyranid player, which, for those of you who don't know, is all bioweapons and biomass and other words that start with bio. In many ways, they couldn't be more different from these two armies. But that doesn't matter, because while the interface and the visuals are simple compared to other 40k games like Dawn of War, they're still dynamic and feature enough little details and customizations that'll keep grabbing your attention. The gameplay style is deceptively simple as well. At first glance, it just seems to be a turn-based strategy game, and don't get me wrong, it, it is. But details like the cognition system are clever and challenging, and make sure that this isn't just the same turn-based game you've played over and over and over again with a 40k skin laid out over the top of it. It doesn't reinvent the cog, but it's got its own thing going. There's also a level of exploration and adventurous narrative written by a team that clearly loves the 40k universe and were excited to get the chance to put their own thumbprint on it. From the opening lines of the game, you know that they got the theme right. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. So that raises this question. Would I have enjoyed this game half as much if it was a different IP? You know, if it wasn't 40k? And if I'm being honest with myself, I don't know, maybe not. Or at the very least, it wouldn't have kept my attention long enough to play to the end, as I did with not only the base game of Mechanicus, but its DLC, Heretic. But I honestly don't see that as any great sin. Mechanicus is easily one of the best 40k games out there right now, and with all the other crappy GW games that are getting released left and right these days, that that's going to have to do. <laughs> I know that's not a big basis for praise, but I do see it as something that'll make 40k fans very happy, and maybe even lure in some newbies into the universe. Probably not enough to get them to go out and start painting miniatures, but that's what Dawn of War is for. Joseph says something like, hey, I just got, you know, I just invested in this thing, it's called Bitcoin. And I got 10 mm -hmm. Bitcoin in my in my crypto wallet. Hopefully nothing happens to me and and, right. and the love of my life is able to access them in the event of my death. And they all, and they all like hugged him and, and told him that they would never let anything happen to him. Yeah. And, and he's then, a special member of this team. And then there was the a, a standing ovation. And an eagle flew through the air and gutted a liberal college professor. That man was Albert Einstein. Um, and... <laughs> 